Hi everybody, in this video I want to show you how you can um, create a local Rust server on your own PC or laptop so you can play single player Rust, arguably <laughs> one of the better ways to play so you don't get um, attacked by people wearing loincloths with rocks. Um, well actually this video is more of uh, just showing you the links of the articles that show you how to do it because there's some very good articles that show you how to install the local Rust server. Uh, one shows you how to install it, I'm going to link to one that shows you how, when you have problems and how to shut it down properly. So. The first um, uh, link is to a article at rustified.com, and I'll put a link in the description below the video. And this shows you how to set up your Rust dedicated server on your local machine. It shows you how to install uh, Steam CMD and how you can get Steam CMD to install the Rust dedicated server. However, what you've got to watch out for when you've got to create the batch file, um, so you in a text editor, you open up and create a, a file called rustserver.bat you have to save this writing here however they don't make it very clear that what you've got to delete isn't just the numbers but it's the brackets these bits you've got to delete otherwise it won't work so you delete those bits so the idea is it should look and this might be a little bit difficult to see but it should look something something like that um, and then once you've done that, uh, it, t it gives you an explanation of what all the commands mean, and it tells you how to um, how to start and then connect to your server. Now this is the bit that often doesn't work. Client dot connect localhost two eight two eight zero one five. That that doesn't often doesn't work. And if it doesn't work, go to this um, this article on umod.org. org. I think it's it's one part of one of their um, one of their discussions. And there's there's the top. If you just scroll down a little bit, there's this post here that tells you how to. Uh, here we go. First, verify the integrity of the game files using Steam, and then bring the command prompt up. So you know, in the search bar at the bottom of the screen, just type command, and then you type ipig config, and then that will give you the ipv4 address, which would be something like 10.0.1.10, something like that. And then, then you type, and then instead, when you go into Rust, and you press F1 to bring the command line up, you type connect 10.0.1.10, uh, semico uh, sorry, colons, 28015, and that will then connect to the server and, and get you in. So basically, you follow the instructions here, apart from this bit, if you're having troubles, and that, uh, that then changes to connect, um, uh, connect 10.0.1.10 whatever your AP4 address is uh, colon 28015 and then that will get you in however what you need to make sure you do as well is that you shut down your server at the end so so when you fire up your server you'll end up with these little windows that have got command lined in that are, that are chattering away so when you've quit out of the game and make sure you click on the server window with all the black and white uh, writing in and then you then um, use uh, quit you type quit into that and that will sh the server will save and then it won't shut down because it start like to start going again but leave it a couple of seconds and then close the window by hitting the x in the top right hand corner and you, your uh, your server will shut down so what should happen then is when you go back into it um your your progress will be saved if you don't do that if you don't do the quit bit and you just close the server often what will happen is that you may well lose your progression uh, i had that happen to me a couple of times so there we go that my friends is how you install well they're the uh, links to the items the uh, articles that show you how to install a local rust server on your machine so you don't have to pay for a remote one um, but you can play single player Rust by yourself without being interfered with by other people. Hope you found the video useful. If you have it, like if you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.